Holders of this title were also called the Marquis of Zhu from the surname of the Ming imperial clan. The Marquis presided at memorial ceremonies held twice a year at the Ming tombs near Beijing. The Ming dynasty was Han Chinese while the Qing dynasty was dominated by the Manchus, a people from the northeast. The Qing then sent the 17 Ming princes still living on Taiwan back to mainland China where they spent the rest of their lives in exile, since their lives were spared and they were not executed. A son of the last Ming emperor Chang Zhen hid under a pseudonym until 1708, when he was discovered by the Qing government and executed. The Qing government finally made peace with the Ming loyalists in 1725 when the Yongzheng emperor bestowed the title of Marquis on Zhu Zhilian, Chu Qilin, a senior descendant of the Ming imperial family. The title suggests that the Qing emperors were extending their grace to a representative of a defunct dynasty. Zhu Zhiliang was also inducted into the Chinese plain white banner of the Eight Banners system which was one of the three upper banners. It was a traditional Chinese custom for the emperors of a new dynasty to enfeff a member of the previous dynasty they overthrew with a noble title and give them land or a stipend to offer sacrifices at their ancestor's graves, practiced since the Shang dynasty when the Zhou dynasty granted a the fief of Song to a descendant of the Shang royal family. During the Xinhai revolution which led to the abdication of the Qing emperor, some advocated that a Han be installed as emperor, either the descendant of Confucius, who was the Duke Yan's Hung, or the Ming dynasty imperial family descendant, the Marquis of Extended Grace. In September 1924, Zhu met Reginald Johnston, the British tutor of Pliai, the last Qing emperor. Although China had been a republic since 1912, Pliai was still holding his imperial court in the Forbidden City at this time. Even though Zhu was living in a hovel and had only rags to wear, Johnston described him as still a true Chinese gentleman. After Pliai was evicted from the Forbidden City in the Beijing coup in October, Zhu visited him at the Japanese concession in Tianjin. In 1929 Zhu Yuxun petitioned the national government of the Republic of China for help since he was living in destitution and said he could no longer carry out his duties. The government abolished his title as Marquis and paid him a stipend instead. In 1933 the government totally terminated all of his duties in carrying out ceremonies at the Ming tombs and totally ended his position.